Hi there, it's Mimsy here. Today I'm going to show you how to take three separate seat cushions and make them into one long bench cushion in order to make a new cushion cover and update the look of this outdated sofa. So I'm gonna show you how to take this sofa with the three seats and turn it into this with one long bench cushion. I have these five inch foam cushions that came from this couch here. I'm going to utilize these for, for these two sofas. I've only got, I've got three of these. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll be able to utilize two here because I'm hoping that the bit that I cut off will be able to fill in this area. So what I'm gonna do is take these covers off. I will rip off the Dacron, cut the foam down to the proper depth because obviously these are too deep. Then I will glue the foam pieces together. So I'll glue them together here and then glue this to this piece to here. And then I will wrap the whole glued foam together as one long cushion. And that's how you do it when you don't have, I mean, you can buy five inch foam that's this long, um, but that would cost me probably, I, I don't even know, I haven't even priced foam in the last few months, and because of the prices of everything, a piece of foam like that would probably run me about 500 bucks. Maybe not. Well, maybe. For a five inch medium firm foam, it could at this point. I don't know. I called the foam, I called my upholstery supplier to get a quote on foam for a banquette cushion for a customer, and he said right off the bat, you know phone prices have gone way up, right? And I said, yes. I will kind of plump up this foam with my steamer. If you steam your foam corners, it'll plump up these corners, but see now, this fits nicely together. I'll pull this. They put a little, another little piece of foam on top of here just to give the cushions a little bit of a crown. So I will pull that off so that there's not this space in between. And I could go ahead and buy another one of these, the whole length of this, which I might do that. But once this is glued together, if you glue this seam nice and tight, and then wrap the whole thing with Dacron, you won't even see that seam anymore. So your foam should be a little bit deeper than your sofa by about an inch because you want your cushion cover to fit snugly and kind of kind of suck in that cushion. So these need to be 26 inches, which is an inch deeper than what the sofa is. So when I put my cover on there, it'll be nice and snug. So I measured 26 inches and marked it and then drew my line and I'm going to back this is the front. Now I'm gonna get my big bread knife and cut this. This was something that I did all the time, cut foam, then I would definitely get a foam cutter. It's like a jigsaw foam cutter. But since I hardly ever cut foam, I usually order it the size I need. But since I had this foam, it's good to use it. It saves money and it saves petroleum. This stuff is petroleum based, which is really kind of ick. The other good thing about reusing old foam is that the off-gassing of this petroleum based product is already done because this is probably 20 year old foam. So I don't have to worry about the off-gassing in my house. Okay, so now I can probably glue together this to there and then the other one to the other side of that to make up that little gap that I had out there. Anyway, so that's that. And now I'll do the same thing on the other one and I'm gonna take this piece off here and I might get another one of these and run it across the whole top and bottom to give my cushion a little bit of a crown and also um, just an extra fill-in for the, the gaps where I've where I'm gluing Okay, so I've got my cushions here. These are the two sides the two ends that I'm going to glue together I've put down some uh, Like painters paper that I have or packing paper even to protect against overspray and I'm using this gorilla adhesive heavy-duty uh, It's it works 
Um, they do sell upholstery grade adhesive in a can like this at your upholstery supplier, um, but this works and I've got it. I might need to pick up another can at the upholstery supplier because I've got to run over there today and get the Dacron. So, so you want to apply a generous portion of this to both sides and particularly go heavy at the corners, the top and the bottom, because you wanna make sure that those are glued together nice and even so that they're not uneven like that. And it doesn't matter if glue gets on the top or the bottom because you're going to put Dacron on this anyhow. Okay, now. And like I said, you just wanna make sure that your top edges are lined up. Okay, now we'll let that set up and I'll do the end pieces. Good to let it set up and get tacky for a couple minutes. Okay, so I just came back from buying my roll of Dacron. I bought this at the um, upholstery supply shop in my area, and this is about, I paid $55 total for the Dacron and the professional foam glue. So now I'm just gonna cut it to the right length. And now I'll and throw some adhesive under here. The nice thing about this is it doesn't overspray really. It's pretty thick, so it does not overspray. So what you do here on this edge is we've got to glue down this edge here and what I was taught is that you cut this at an angle so that this edge is angled in like that so you can put glue here and then glue that down and you don't have the bulk of that corner there. It's a mitered, mitered cut. So that's how you make a bench cushion out of three separate foam cushions. If you'd like to see how I made this slipcover for this sofa, check out that video right here.